Greetings, people! So today I'm going to venture into the world of hijabi tutorials, or er, hijab tutorials for the hijabi. <laughs> um, and yes, I am not necessarily wearing something that would be modest. I am wearing longer sleeves, and it is extremely hot because I am now in a very southern town, and it's like 80 degrees here, and I'm burning up um, because I'm wearing a sweater, not an actual sink sleeve because I don't want my outfit to contrast. As for the chain in the back, it is a lamp, not a weird torture device. See, there's the lamp, there's the chain. Okay, we're good. No annoying comments from that one. Okay, so what I'm going to do, and while I'm talking about making the hijabi, I'm just going to talk about the kind of stuff that happened during this week. Um, I think you like it. So, what I'm going to start out with is a simple scarf and I need to undo it because I didn't do it before. Okay, so it's just a basic simple scarf. It's kind of long, it's a rectangle scarf. Normally people wear it like this, you know, kind of, yeah, anyway, like this. Super cute, right? I got this from Gap, um, like a really long time ago. And what's kind of annoying about it is that it has this feathered detailing in the middle but it makes it really easy to fold so what I'm gonna do is I've noticed one thing that kind of bugs me um, I have like crazy super short hair um, so I can't necessarily get it into what looks like a nice bun what looks like nice long hair so it's a little cheater I actually kind of got this idea from Yes, yeah, Spaz89. So thank you. Love your writing videos. They are gorgeous. Love your reviews. Awesome, gorgeous. Thank you for inspiration. So, and I've got some other ideas from her too that I'm kind of sharing. But also, so what I did to get it to start out um, for the bump is basically I just put it on my head like I normally would. Make sure it's nice and tight and. For this, I want to flip it back just a little bit because of the way I'm doing some other stuff. I don't want this to be seen. Um, normally, that's not a big deal, but um, I actually like it, and it makes cute things. And I know what I'm saying. I'm a lot. I need to stop on that. So, I can fold it again. Okay. And it makes a really good underscarf. It really does. Gap has lots of scarves. I love Gap. So see, um, and I like my ears covered just because that's me. So I tie it in the back, just but not like a knot. Just a simple loop under, and I pull it through. No hair showing! Yay! Then. You're going to want to loop it again, and you're going to try to loop it around your ponytail, like so. See, it's making a loop. And then you loop it around again, and tuck it in. Then loop it around and tuck it in. Make sure that you pull it through. Make sure it's nice and tight. Okay, now you have volume. Well, we, as we all know, that's not modest enough. So, um, I'm taking a brown overscarf that I previously mentioned when I first bought it. Um, it's one of two that I got, a black one and this brown um, the round one had design underscarf, but I chose not to wear it. So just put it on like you would normally. And voila! See, now you have bump, and it doesn't look too fake. So this would be great, you know, still modest, still cute, and we're gonna tuck it in just because I don't feel like it being out today. It really depends on what you're wearing. Like right now, I'm wearing a hoodie. So, um, usually decide to tuck it in if I'm wearing a hoodie, but if I'm wearing like a scoop neck, I prefer to keep it up. Okay, now that it's all tucked in. 
you're gonna take this scarf. This scarf is a Guatemalan scarf. It's a little bit smaller, but again, all I want to do is cover up this part. So you take it. Oh, that's super cute. Take it. Tie it under the bump just a little bit. And we are still super cute. This would be great, but I'm not done yet. Gonna loop it up and tie it on top. See, just a simple pull through. And then you're gonna tuck the ends in here, but make sure you spread them out because then it looks even and doesn't look bumpy and it looks put together. Which is sometimes hard to do. Okay, now for the other one. Okay, now we're all tucked in. No funny little businesses. And if you want to adjust it so it fits more comfortably, that's fine. There we go. Cute, cute, cute. Okay, um, the other set of inspiration I got from Yaz the Spaz um, was she was doing a fall collection for a 2013 preview. I think I said that right. I don't know. But anyway, credit where credit is due. But she had this jeweled necklace and she was kind of using it as an accessory. She just had a plain black um, hijab under scarf and the actual hijab part. And then this just blue thing. Um, I think it was like a multi-stranded necklace. Super cute. But I decided that I wanted to go something that stood out a little more. So what I did was I took this giant pearl necklace. Like 1920s era that I got from my grandmother. May she rest in peace because she's dead. So what I did was again you go under and then I wrapped it twice to make kind of like a cute X and you're gonna have to fiddle with it for a while if you're uncoordinated and clumsy like me. Again, just pull it tight and then you're kind of gonna want to do what you do with it for me. And make an X in the back with the strands and then flip it up over the bun part and it looks super cute and I would wear that like to church or something you know but that's just me and you can put the X wherever you want kind of like a hair part some look better with it off to the side like this or straight on or off to this side. See, isn't it cute? I prefer it straight on in the middle. Voila! Okay, now to the really fun part of my week. I was at the mall. And I had fun. I got a couple interviews at some places. It was awesome. I loved it. I haven't heard back from them, so I'm still out of a job. But that's okay. But I was sitting down in the middle of an interview, and out of the corner of my eye, I noticed a woman. Because this is at the mall, and they had like a career fair, and it was at the table. Uh, I was at a table getting an interview. So out of the corner of my eye, I notice a woman, and she's dressed head to toe in traditional Muslim garb. And that was beautiful. And I was like, oh my goodness, ah, I wish I was in an interview. I want to go record. You know, totally freaking out. And then I noticed these two girls that were kind of hanging around her. And I thought, oh, whatever. They're, they're just at the mall, too. And then one of them said, mom, to the lady who was wearing the, 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 the hijab. And I was very surprised. Because here this woman is in full, traditional, modest garb. And her 
her daughter was wearing booty shorts, high heels, and a very, very, very revealing shirt. Like it was like a see-through shirt with uh, a little bra, uh, bandeau. And I was like, okay, now that is like the ultimate difference. And I wish I could have had a picture of it, but I was in the middle of an interview and it sucked because I wanted to take a picture of it so badly. And I was just surprised. I was like, how it, I, I'm guessing the woman must have come from like a split home because I know a lot, as in like maybe her husband wasn't uh, a Muslim and she was. And so there was that, maybe there's like some tension in there and the dad's just like, well, let the daughter wear whatever. And I don't know, but it was very interesting. And I just thought that was a little tidbit that I threw in there. The other thing that um, I saw when I was walking around the mall was that there was a lady that was dressed in full burqa. And that was cool. That was really cool. Um, I also found a little shop on where to get burqas. And it is in, and other things. And it's in my purse. And I should have pulled it out. Oh, here we are. So, shout out. This is called Asia Grocery. Um, and I actually did not go here, but I got referred to somebody. Um, and they're in Miami. Um, and it's really cool, uh, that there's actually a shop in Miami that sells traditional clothing. Um, and the lady that I talked to said that that was where she got her hijabis. Actually got a lot of, uh, cool people coming up to me and just like saying, oh my gosh, it's great that you're wearing a a job and I was like, ah, thanks, this is just a social experiment, I'm not actually a Muslim, because one of them actually started talking to me, I think at the Farsi, um, which was really cool, I just couldn't understand what a word she said, so, I don't know, it was awesome, uh, and we talked for a while, but she said she didn't want to be videoed, so I had to delete it, so, it was a bummer, but anyway, um, the other thing that I would like y'all's opinion on is, there's a lot of, I guess you could say, hatred right now for those who choose to wear what we're wearing. A lot of the wives of deceased um, Islamic extremists are going around and suicide bombing things and they're calling themselves the Black Widows. There's a lot of hate right now um, in this in Miami, uh, which is where I am now, and it's disconcerting because there was a woman who was wearing a hijabi and she did get beat up. Now she was in a poor part of town. Um, I'm not, but at the same time, I'm a little worried about. Um, me wearing this and if I'll get it beat up and I'm not sure that since this is just a solo experiment and not necessarily something I because of what it's of what this symbolizes it's not necessarily something that I would like to be associated with um, I know people presume a lot um, I would I myself would keep wearing it because it shows what I'm trying. It's a perfect example of what I'm trying to show here that people should not be judged because of what they choose to wear. But at the same time, I'm kind of wondering if this is a safety concern. Um, so I'd like your opinion. Should I continue to wear hijabs? Um, should I scale back and just wear a headscarf? Or what, what should I do? Um, love to hear your comments, especially Sarah. Love your comments. Um, again, any criticisms, please inbox because I can get to them better that way. Um, I love critiques. They are awesome and they help me. Yeah. 
be better. Um, but like I said, when I do YouTube, it's not necessarily for anybody else but me. I mean, I love the fact that you're listening and this was kind of, this video particularly was for those who are listening and watching. But most of the time, anything I put up is just for me and my really bad memory. So anyway, thank you. Feel free to leave comments and I will see you guys later. Hope to have an update and more actual footage. Um, I'm thinking about maybe just going to the mall somewhere and just setting up a booth and or asking questions and asking if I can videotape with an actual camera this time. So yeah, it'll be interesting and I will keep you updated. Thank you so much.